Hey guys, it's Kaya, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and use a Minecraft hacked client. So, let's just get straight into this. We are going... You will have to download it, so yes, it does involve downloading, but you're only downloading one thing. So, since I have some problems with my computer, I'll probably cut the video when I get it downloaded. So you're going to want to go to... The, this website called wizardhacks.com you can see it up here and I'll leave a link to it in the description below and oh, sorry I got computer problems I'm trying to do this so we are on wizard hacks I'm going to be at the home page looking for the right client that you want to use and ooh, there's some new ones so and it is for the specific version that it's in. up here. So we got 1.9 right here. So this is for 1.9. So you go to it, you hit download. Hold on. Okay. Like I said, technical difficulties. Probably, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be cutting the video here. So you just hit download, go through all the processes to download it. And when you have it downloaded, then I will meet you back. Alright, I'm back and I have it downloaded. I just finished downloading it and you can see it actually down here in the corner. I got the Liquid Bounce one. It's one of, it's the newest one that they have so far. And it said that it was for 1.9, but they do give you an option between 1.9 and 1.8. And I picked 1.8. Just, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to close that now because we don't need that anymore. Hold on. Just going to casually change that background. But, um, so we have it right here. Here it is. So, you cannot use it when it is in this, this format. So, you're going to want to open up whatever you use to extract items. People usually use WinZip and stuff, but I can't use that, so I'm using uh, Cam Unzip 5. So, you want to make sure that you have, you know, both of these files, all the files listed below, and then you extract it. These are necessary for doing it. Now actually installing it is a bit more tricky than like installing a mod or such. So if you open it up, um, you should have both of these in there. So we'll just take that folder out. And this is all, the title of the folder should be the same as the title of the hacked client. So. So yeah, we got a .jar and a .json file. So what you're going to do is put your Windows key and R at the same time and put in percent app data percent. So this opens up. You go to your .minecraft folder and instead of going to like resource packs or mods or anything, you go to versions. So these are all your versions here. So there's my, there's my little folder. There it is. So you take the hack client that you were just downloaded and you drag it into your versions folder. Now sometimes they do not work for some reason. I don't exactly know why because I've tried doing this before with other ones to see if they work and sometimes they don't. So then you just close that and you're done that part. Uh, I just hit my hand on my desk. So you just open up your Minecraft and you do not hit the play button. What you want to do is hit new profile. I mean, I guess you can just hit edit profile, but I'd rather create a new. Okay, so I just want <laughs> tutorial. There we go. Okay, so you go down to where it's use version, and you look for release, and then the title of yours. As you can see, mine actually worked. So we have release liquid bounce, and you just click on that. You hit save profile. So, and now we hit play. So that is the hardest part of it that we just got done. So I'm actually gonna have to cut the video here for, well, no, I might not, I'm just gonna leave it. Don't forget I just said that. So, it might take a while, because remember, you hack clients are basically like a giant mod pack. There's a whole bunch of stuff in it. And now, they work on certain servers, but you want to be very careful so you do not get banned 
from the servers for either days, weeks, months, or just banned at all and you can't get back on. So we have everything here. Some of the screens will probably look different for all of them. Maybe not all of them. But so if we go to multiplayer just real quick, I'm gonna be showing this. Okay. Okay. Just oh, cancel. Cancel. Oh, wait. Oh, that was a pain. So I'm actually gonna cut the video real quick. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm now, again, I'm in full screen mode now. So, yep, the title screen is pretty cool, actually. I do like this. So, like I said before, it will probably look different for all of them. So I'm gonna go into single player, uh, play select the world. I mean, create new world. <laughs> it is kind of laggy. So, <laughs> the text is so weird, so... Tutorial test. Put this in creative and create a world. Now, yeah, this works in survival, hardcore, creative, any mode at all. There are certain things in mods that only work in creative mode, so you would have to use it in a survival world for that. In a single player or like a realms world, I don't think they actually work on realms. I'm not too sure about that. So you can actually see my character on the bottom right hand corner, and you can see the actual hacked client itself in the top left corner. Now is it this one? Yeah, this is a little different. So for this one, oh, okay. So for the liquid bounce one, you use the arrow keys on your keyboard, but for any other one, you usually hit right shift. Oh, right shift actually works for this too. Or the control button. And to get out of this menu, you hit the escape key, and then you're back to normal. Also, to open up the different folders itself, for this one, you can use the arrow keys. We got like combat, we have all this different stuff. So, yeah. So if I hit right shift, it just shows everything in another way. You can move them all around and everything. So, yeah. kind of lagging so I probably shouldn't have used one that I haven't tested out yet because again I don't know where like anything is on this folder so I'm gonna guess that it'd be movement I'm like lick walk? what the heck is lick walk is this like oh this is Jesus yeah and like any other one this is called Jesus you know where you can walk on water so actually Yep, I'm still just jumping on water. You can go under by crouching, and then you just swim back up. You can run and jump and do all this kind of stuff. So yeah. See, they're pretty cool. I mean, but like I said before, you want to be careful with servers and such, because you don't want to get banned, because that would just suck. So, yeah, I may, I might be doing, like, a uh, modded type survival thing in the future, or something more with, like, hacks and stuff. It might be, like, a trolling thing, you know, you go on servers and just hack and stuff. <laughs> Fun times. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, then I'm glad that's, you know, my job. So yeah, and if you have any suggestions for either more tutorials that you want me to do for help, or just any kind of game series, game itself.